G'day guys, just trying to grab a quick video of um, some weird glitchy issues going on with my mini trees. Um, first thought was it was just the configuration was wrong, um, like the RGB type um, for the pixels, but I swapped in some other pixels, which I know I swapped the trees around and the problem keeps continuing for what to uh, plug in. Uh, so what I might try and do is just reset my Falcon F48, that's what I'm running and this is running off those four mini trees running each one off a separate board on the differential expansion boards. Okay. So following on from having a look uh, for the issue for those uh, for that mini tree doing some weird things, um, I remember there was a firmware update uh, for the Falcon F48 and I'm using the Falcon F48 and the differential receiver board so I thought I'd just try and document how I went about updating it. Um, here's just my Pixel controller um, just so everyone can see it's running the version that it comes shipped with which is version 2.01 I believe that's up to 2.04 now so what I did um, is had a quick look uh, at the Falcon F16 V3 manual and it's got a bit of a in section 5 it talks about um, how to upgrade the upgrade the firmware for a, an F16 so I thought oh well, this could be pretty close so it says install the micro SD card in your computer um, delete any existing .fail files etc copy the files across put the SD card in um, turn the pixel controller on it's meant to update so I thought oh that sounds nice and straightforward um, so I had uh, just a little 8 gig SD card, um, so I thought I'd use that. So what I did do was, and I won't show you how I went about doing that, I just uh, formatted it, just using SD format to make sure there was nothing silly on that card because I'd used it for some other things. So I went to the pixelcontroller.com website, I selected the F48 Falcon Pixel Controller, I went down there and I noticed, okay, there's a current firmware, so I simply selected that, and then I got this gobbledygook. Um, I'm not an ex I'm not an IT guy. I'm I'm pretty illiterate with some of this sort of stuff, so I thought this is a bit weird. I had a quick look on the Falcon controller forums. It didn't sort of mention anything. I thought, what am I doing wrong? Um, it's this constant gobbledygook. And I thought, well, that's not gonna that's not going to work. So then I had a bit of a thought. Why? And I was using Microsoft Edge as my Internet Explorer for my for, for my internet. I thought, what would happen if I use Firefox? Um, I've had some issues previously using Edge, uh, so I just thought I'd just try Firefox. Uh, so. Same website, Pixel Controller. Uh, click on current firmware, and now we actually get a download option. So we can just save to file. It's that version 2.04.fal. We can just go OK. So then I simply went to my download section. Um, it's probably a bit tricky to see there, but um, it's download it nice and quickly to my F that's an F48 underscore V2.04 Falcon dot fail sorry and then I just simply copied it across onto my SD card yep it's on my SD card I just did the usual just eject it make sure okay it's ejected so I've got the the file, update file on my little SD card. Um, then it talks about uh, in the Falcon manual, sorry, about how to do it. And it talks in there the label on the card must face to the right side, so I'm assuming it's this label here, and the flat side of your SD card uh, faces the top of the board. Okay, so so we've got to have our Falcon F, uh, F48 powered down. So here's my board here. Powered down. So there's nothing up on the oh, display there. 
talks about installing it to the writing to the right and the SD card goes to the flat goes whoops goes straight into the top of the little card reader there it's just like a friction fit okay and then we can turn power on to the Falcon board we'll see what it does So it's saying bootloading, uh, FPG something or other file, loading firmware, it's looking promising. Remove SD card and power off and then on, okay. So we'll just remove the SD card. Power the pixel controller off. Wait the few seconds by powering any sort of device off. And we'll power it back on. It's um booting control, it looks pretty normal. And Look at that version 2.04 so I just thought I'd show that because I was scratching my head a little bit uh, I suppose for me the big tip was to use um, Firefox instead of Microsoft Edge okay thanks for watching guys so here's just a quick video after I've updated the firmware on the uh, Falcon F48 that's all I've done haven't changed anything else and you can see uh, those little mini trees are performing exactly as they should. So, if you've got a Falcon F48 with differential receiver boards um, and you're getting some weird pixel colour issues or flickering issues, um, it might be a good idea to update to that 2.04 firmware. One thing I did notice after I updated the firmware, all my string port information remained the same. I didn't have to reload it or anything like that. So, um, that was a nice quick update. If you've got any thoughts, comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks guys.